Welcome back. Uh, in the year 2018, the federal government made a commitment to promoting social security in order to eradicate poverty, ensure inclusion, and address contemporary socioeconomic challenges in the country. It's my pleasure to welcome someone mm -hmm. who should put more lights on this for us and explain all this to us. We have in the studio Mr. Shola Aino, a social entrepreneur. Thank you. We also have, joining us from our studio in Abuja, another Shola, this <laughs> time Shola girl, Shola Izora, and she is a public health consultant and life coach. Good morning, Shola. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Okay. Still we also an expect... An architect. Well, <laughs> Mr. Ovier Benitia, he's not Shola. No, I promise. <laughs> he's not Shola. We have two Sholas already, okay. and that'll do. Well, Shola, I know. Um, let me begin with you, even though they say ladies first, you know. What exactly is the meaning of social security? Uh, in a nutshell, um, social security is what is the mechanism that we put in place to make life better. I just want to put it in a very simpler way mm -hmm. for every individual of a nation. Mm -hmm. Because in social security, we are talking about two arms. We have two arms. We are talking about social, um, social insurance, and we are talking about social assistance. So both of them, they are just there put in place. There are mechanisms put in place by government to make sure that the risks of less privilege, mm. the risks of the age, the risks of children, of every nation, every citizen of a country mm. is properly addressed okay. and they are not shortchanged in any way. Okay, you said social insurance. Yes. And you have mentioned the aged. Now, some people have argued that there's so much corruption in the land because of the absence of social security. Is there any connection between those two? Um, yeah, we, yeah, there are connection to that. Because people feel the urge to look after the future because nothing is going to come to them from the system Absolutely. when they stop working. Absolutely. So they Absolutely. feel the urge to amass and steal oh, yes. if they have to. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, what is, um, that is why I'm saying that it's a problem that we need to deal with. And it's not a problem that is out of the sky that we cannot address. We can actually address it. Mm. And that's why I always tell people, advocate that we should have a national mindset. When you have a national mindset, this issue you mentioned, whereby people are mass wet and all that, it's just the rig because that system is not there. But do we have them in place as part of government initiative? The answer is yes. We have so many of them that is in Pension Act is there, Workman Compensation is there, and so on and so forth, that is there to address this issue. Now, because those things are not properly implemented, that's why people go into that area you mentioned about corruption. But it could be addressed. It could be addressed, whereby these issues will come to a place whereby over time, over a period of time, this issue of people amassing wealth that they can't manage, amassing wealth they don't need, we mm. stop, we are better. Now, um, Shola uh, in Abuja. <laughs> now, he has said that there are some systems in place regarding social security. Can you please tell us more about that? Thank you very much. Um, on a lighter mode, shall I say, today is the day for Sholas. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are a lot of systems in place. I'm very sure Shola, I know, will be um, more apt to give some of all those um, indications that we've talked about. Um, he mentioned workman compensation as part of the the system in place. You talked about NSITF, you talked about um, a pension scheme. 
you talked about the um, in national health insurance. These are some of the things that are in place by government to take care of the people, to make sure that nobody is left out. Um, the painful thing, I think, is the fact that a lot of people are not aware of some of all these things that are made, um, that government have made provisions for. Um, on the part of government, maybe because government also has not done um, as much uh, to enlighten a lot of people about what they are, if I can use the word right, ha, in some of all these um, arrangements that have been put in place. Mm. Now, um, in other times, one would have thought that um, social security should involve everybody. Absolutely. But um, I'm gathering from what she has said and what you have said as well, that these are limited to certain people. Can you please shed more light on that? Okay. Well, what I would say is this, in terms of social security in Nigeria, it's in the works. What do I mean by that? Until such a time where we could have the data of every Nigerian that is eligible to that we will continue to be in this scenario. But is it possible for us to, to find a way where we can address everything into one point whereby everybody will be entitled to this? The answer is yes. We have biometrics. We can use that platform of okay. the BVN and all that. We have the numbers of people who are working right now, maybe as a private, in the private sectors or in the public sector as the case may be. Mm -hmm. We can gather all those. But now, the key issue that I'm concerned about is how are we going to invest this to make sure, because you mentioned something that is very, very critical. Why are people embezzling this money or corruption? That comes Please into just this? hold your thoughts. Um, we're going to take a very quick break. When we come back, um, this is Isora and you, I know, are going to tell us the, what is on ground. How much of effect has it had on the people? And I'm sure by that time we'd have had architect Ovia Benite join us there. Please don't go away. Okay. Welcome back, to Sunrise. Uh, we've just been, we've been joined by architect Ovia Benite. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. So, um, well, before you came in, the two shalas. I thought they had, a, they had a field day. They were going to, to shallowize the, the segment. But you're an architect. Um, from your point of view, how would you think social security has fared in the country? Well, uh, social security, I, 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 as both of them have said, uh, is provision for you basically when you, you have stopped working, your active years are over, then Social Security kicks in so that you live out the rest of your days. Or you know, before you start working. You know, and also kick well, in before then. Uh, not in our climb. Okay. Right? So um, you, you, hear, you, you, you hear of pensions not being paid. And pensions are a major arm of social security. Mm -hmm. So what does that tell you about how we are fed in 2018? That, 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 that tells the entire story <laughs> because the major chunk of social security is preparing mm. you for after retirement. And unfortunately, because there is an absence of empathy there's an absence of empathy in our individual fabric, our making as individuals. We don't see tomorrow. We only see today. We don't see people. We only see ourselves. Mm. So the things that should have been done to make 2018 a better year than 2017 disappeared into personal pockets. Now, the tragedy is cost and consequence is so absent in our claims that everybody aspires to 
position not for responsibility, but for self-aggrandizement, mm. because there's no effect. Oh, we, we, all we hear are stories of how before we came, this, has, this is what they did. So what if that is what they did? Bring them to book. That's right. Once people are brought to book, the social security will begin to rise. The feeling of belonging, which is what social security is all about. Social security tells you that you have a home. Mm. Like, you know, uh, Shola, you know what I'm saying? My niece was in Nigeria in 1993 during the June 12 crisis. She was born as a baby in America, and the parents came back while she was about nine or thereabout in the 70s. The American embassy contacted her in, in Benin. Do you want to be evacuated from Nigeria because of the turmoil in Nigeria? That's social security. Mm. So we cannot say that we moved forward on the social security index in 2018. Rather, we regressed. Mm. Tragically. Now, Shala, he has mm. spoken about the pension and it mm. being an integral part of this thing we're talking about. But sometimes the, in, the, the incomes received as pension, they're so negligible. Because I've seen some civil servants who only collect 50,000 naira a month. Mm. What is that going to do? What kind of life are they going to live with that kind mm. of mm. Um, money? Okay, so that's why uh, I think I need to quickly talk quickly about what um, Mr. Uh, Benita mentioned, also and your, your response to as well. You know, like I mentioned, I'll quickly talk about that social assistance. Because we talked about the upstream side, which is insurance. That is when you grow old, that's where all those things, that you are looking at, okay, when I'm incapacitated, when, when I can't walk, when your children are not employed, so at least you can stand on your own and see and maintain and see get the basic things. Now, when you are talking about the social assistance, that's where I want to talk about now. Because that social assistance, that is what part of your tax takes care of. That is where the child, with time of when, when you have these children mortality, when they have issues, that's where it comes from. Mm. That is where all these other things that make you to have the spirit of patriotism. Because if the social security is not properly addressed, look at what he mentioned about that, his niece, mm -hmm. you know, you feel belong. So if that area of that social security is not addressed from that point of view, that spirit of patriotism will, be, will not be there. Because you are actually, it's just like a father or a parent. You, you, you look at it that, what is the need for this, my parent, for me? Can they fight for me? Can they fund for me? Can they take care of me? If the answer is no, you start thinking that I'd rather have a foster parent elsewhere. So now, for those people that end that 50,000 naira that you mentioned, mega salary, that is where that social assistance comes from. Because those, the same people, they need health insurance. The same people want their children to go to school. The same people want to have a good livelihood whereby they can beat them and say, yeah, I'm, I'm a citizen of this country. So that social assistance mm. comes from the tax, comes from the voluntary, voluntary assistance. Let me take, for instance, as someone told me in a country uh, in UAE, and he said one billionaire donated 10, 10 million and said, look, put this one in to take care of all the hospital bills for children. That's part of social security. A social assistant, but under the